There are plenty of videos on YouTube that show you the various methods on how to upgrade to Windows 11 from a Windows 10 system that has unsupported hardware. I have one of those videos on this channel and I'll link it below, but that's not what this video is about. Regardless of which method you choose, none of them will work if your CPU does not have a specific set of instructions required by Windows 11. And one of the things that all of these videos on YouTube have in common, including my own, is we don't show you how to check your CPU for those instructions before going through that process. And this results in a lot of people attempting one of these upgrades just to find out it doesn't work for them. Now I do state in my video, and I have seen this in the other videos, if you have an older Intel Core 2 Duo or AMD Athlon XP circa 2006, but it won't work. But I still see viewer comments where they have gone through the whole setup process just to find out it won't work on their PC. So today we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna show you how to check your PC for those instructions before going through this whole upgrade process. Let's get into it. Some quick background info. When Windows 11 was first released, Microsoft introduced a set of hardware requirements that PCs needed to meet for compatibility. However, from the beginning, there have been methods to bypass these checks. Now, to be more specific, this is the message you'll likely get if your hardware isn't supported by Windows 11. So the PC must support secure boot, TPM 2.0 must be supported and enabled, and you may even get this message here that says the processor isn't currently supported for Windows 11. But this is not what we're talking about because even though you've gotten this message here, as long as your CPU has a certain set of instructions, which we're about to cover, it will still work. These three things here can be bypassed by the methods mentioned before. But what can't be bypassed are those instructions that we're about to cover. Just because you get this message here doesn't mean your CPU won't work with Windows 11. Thanks. I'm not here to debate whether or not you should upgrade to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. That can be debated in the other video where I cover all of the reasons Microsoft doesn't recommend it. Bypassing these requirements has always been an option because Microsoft allows it. Moreover, they have recently acknowledged and released publicly instructions on how to accomplish this by changing registry values. They see the writing on the wall and how many people don't want to upgrade to Windows 11, even with the end of support for Windows 10 coming in October of this year. So this video is for two types of people. One, those who have already decided to upgrade to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, and you don't wanna waste your time. And two, those that attempted an upgrade, but it failed, and they're not sure why. This will at least rule out CPU compatibility. It's important to note that there are many reasons why an upgrade might fail. But one thing is certain, if your CPU lacks the SSC 4.2 instruction set, Windows 11 simply won't work, no matter what method you use. Because essentially, your CPU and Windows 11 don't speak the same language. So before trying any of the methods out there, we can easily check to see if your CPU supports SSE 4.2 to avoid wasting time on a multi-hour upgrade project that was never gonna work to begin with. So we are going to download a program called Speccy. This is a program that will provide you details on your system hardware and more specifically, the CPU instructions needed for Windows 11 compatibility. There are plenty of hardware programs out there. I'm using Speccy because I already have it installed. Testing it for another project, because that's what I do for you guys. Let's go. Wait, you thought I forgot, didn't you? I did, I did forget. To ask you if you're finding value in this video to please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out tremendously. Okay, now let's go. Okay, so the program we're gonna use today is called Specky. However, 
if you are a slightly more advanced user and you don't want to download software from the Microsoft Store, you can check out a free and open source hardware monitor called Libre Hardware Monitor. Now this one, you'll need to go to GitHub, go to the latest version, bypass all of the contributors and updates and then come here under assets grab the zip file and then run it from there for today's purposes i'm going to use specy because it is just a bit more user friendly to set up okay now first things first and please take a moment to stop and make sure you're following these instructions you want to get it from right here from the microsoft store obviously you can get it from a bunch of other places, but there's a good chance they're going to include some stuff you didn't sign up for. So let's just grab it from the Microsoft Store. We're going to go to Download. Once it downloads, and you can see the installer package here in the top right hand corner, go ahead and click on that. Okay, now for me, this is already installed, so that's why it's just saying installed here. But go ahead and run through the setup process here and once you get that installed I will meet you back here in Specky. Let's go ahead and run Specky. And what we're looking for here so obviously this is going to break down all your hardware so feel free to go through here and play with this if you have any other questions about your system but for today's purposes we're going to click on CPU and what we are looking for are the set of instructions right here, okay? Specifically, you need to see this one, SSE 4.2. This has to be present in your processor or it will not work with Windows 11 no matter which bypass method you use. Okay, so remember, make sure you do this before attempting to upgrade your Windows 10 computer with unsupported hardware to Windows 11. It'll save you a lot of time and frustration because regardless of which method you use to bypass those Windows restrictions, none of them will work if your CPU doesn't contain these instructions required by Windows 11. I'll put links in the description to my video on how to upgrade your Windows 10 unsupported PC to Windows 11. I'll also include the links for Specky and Libre Hardware Monitor, and I'll put the video here on the end screen. Drop some comments below. If this video was helpful, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time.